We've known this was coming for a long time. It was just a question of who would ban bags first, government or the corporations. Today, Sobey sent a message, setting a huge precedent for others to follow. And let's be honest, in Newfoundland and Labrador, no matter where the bag is from, it's probably considered a Sobey's bag. In a weird way, these things are pretty iconic. If it's from Walmart, it's considered a Sobey's bag. If it's from Coleman's, still a Sobey's bag. And as the guys from the outhouse joked, there's more uses for these than just groceries. Umbrella. Beer box. Plumbing problem. With all their other uses, we asked people what they thought about the ban. I think it makes sense. I've uh, I was lived on the mainland for a long time, and you won't you'll see a number of places where they don't have plastic bags anymore. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not so sure what they're coming in place with. I'm assuming it's biodegradable paper bags. I would assume, but I'm. Uh, it's a good idea. Uh, I agree, because actually uh, I spend a lot of time in Broussard in Quebec, and they have already eliminated most of their plastic bags, so I'm very used to it now. Sobeys is hardly the first to take action. Walmart is charging five cents per plastic bag, so is Marshall's Home Sense and Winners. And your booze no longer comes in plastic either. Now the NLC only uses paper. Studies show 96% of these bags will end up in a landfill in this province. In fact, we are the only province without curbside recycling for plastic bags. You can bring them back to the store to be recycled, but only about 2% or two tractor trailer loads end up being returned each year. Well, it's the end of an era for Sobeys bags, so after 2020 you'll have to find another use for them. You could use them for this, but you probably should return them to the store. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.